What's up guys, welcome to Anamanji, and today we're going to be talking about some pretty disappointing numbers, and these numbers have to do with the Academy Awards last night. So last night, the Academy Awards, according to Deadline, only scored 26 million viewers. That is an all-time low. That's actually a 20% drop from last year. Ouch. Um, that's really sad. And honestly, it's been going down for the past few years, and it doesn't seem like the Academy has done anything to really try to stop it. Um, or what they're doing is not enough. And that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about t today. Why are, the, why are the viewers not tuning in? And what can the Academy do, if anything, to get people to watch again? So let's get started. Um, number one, here's the question. Where has the interest gone? Uh, the Academy Awards has been on 90 years. It's been coming on 90 years. And... At one point, the Academy Awards was a huge event. A lot of people loved tuning in to see their favorite stars come in and win their awards and uh, say funny things on the stage and see what crazy things are going to happen this year. Um, but it seems like that interest has waned. And you, you're, you're not wrong if, if you're asking why. Well, I have a few uh, thoughts on, on that. Number one, the lack of a good host. And this is way more important than you may think it is, okay? Jimmy Kimmel is by all means a great talk show host. I like him. I watch him all the time. I think he's funny. I think he's genuine. I think that he's one of the better choices that they've had. But he's just not enough. And when you're trying to keep yourself relevant... Uh, for for a show or for an award ceremony that's been going on 90 years, relevance is probably one of the more important things to, to factor in. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel is just not a draw, in my personal opinion. I, I definitely believe that, that he has a following. He has a big following, but it's not big enough to bring people to watch the, the Academy Awards. I feel like they need someone who a lot of people feel close to, who they're connected with, who is still relevant to the newer generation, uh, kind of like Ellen. When Ellen hosted the award show, she brought in 43.74 million viewers, which was really high. And there was a reason for that, because Ellen is in touch and she's always speaking to the younger generation. She always has somebody who everybody is following on her show. She's always talking about the new trends. Something went viral. Those people are on her show. She's she's just in the she's in the know. She's always in the know. And the younger generation needs someone like that on the Academy Awards that they can follow. Jimmy Kimmel isn't, isn't going to cut it. We have people like The Rock or possibly even Kevin Hart. I'm not a big fan of Kevin Hart, but I'm pretty sure that he would draw in bigger numbers than Jimmy Kimmel can. I mean, Will Smith created an Instagram account. He's on YouTube. There are people who are following him. He just had a movie come out on, on Netflix that a lot of people liked. Why don't you bring him on? I mean, there are, there are so many better choices than Jimmy Kimmel who who I just don't don't think was was a smart choice this this year for for the 90th anniversary of the Oscars. Another thing uh or another reason why the interest was probably low was because there were no movies that anybody really saw that got nominated. Ex with, with the lone exception of Get Out, not too many people saw any of the other Oscar contenders. Now, of course, I saw the majority of them, um but the rest of the world probably didn't, uh, and I feel like that's something that's really hurting the the, the academy. And what and it's something that hurts the, the academy every year is the fact that they never have a film that a lot of people really care 
to follow and 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 want to, to to see win nominated. There are so many movies that came out this year that could have possibly been nominated that were passed up for films that nobody cared about or nobody wanted to to see. The movie with the highest box office number uh, that was nominated for an Academy Award and didn't win was Dunkirk. That should kind of tell you what kind of movies were were being a, a showcase there. And and I feel like that was just I feel like that really hurt the the Academy Awards this this year was the severe lack of of any interesting uh con- contenders. Um <clears throat> but here's the big question. How can we draw interest back? What can the Academy do to bring the interest back? Well, here's a few suggestions. And I hope that the Academy is watching this, even though I'm pretty sure they're they're not. Uh, I've got to get this out. Um, along with getting a better host, I believe that what they can do is, number one, stop being so political. I understand that there are things going on in the world and... I understand that there are some really big topics that people want to talk about and want to discuss, and that's fine. Talk about it, but don't fill the entire award show with <clears throat> with politics. I know when I look at award shows or when I look at movies or film or something, I want that to be something that I can escape in, into, something where I can feel like, I am just having a good time and I'm not thinking about anything that's going on in in the world. And while when certain actors and actresses bring up certain things, like certain changes or uh, a woman or women getting recognized in the Me Too movement, that's fantastic. But when it starts to take over the entire show and you're not sure if it's about that or if it's about the films... That can be problematic. It, it, I feel like <clears throat> a lot of people, I feel like we're inundated with problems and there's something bad happening every day now. I feel like it is nice to sometimes get away from those things and just sit down and, and just, just, I don't know, just sit down and forget about it all. And I feel like this year they just didn't do that. And I feel like that was a big problem. Um, <clears throat> hopefully next year they'll they'll do better because I feel like that will help. Another thing that I think will help them is to make the Academy Awards more accessible. So when you really think about it, there aren't many people who are watching regular television anymore. I mean, of course you have some people who watch it certain reviewers, certain magazine sites, and certain things like that, and some in in the older generation who haven't moved over to the streaming websites. But the younger generation, they're all on Netflix, they're all on Hulu, they're all on Amazon, and they're watching their shows on there if they're watching television at all. So I feel like in the future, the Academy could possibly make it more, more, make it easier to access the, the awards so that people can have it on when they're on YouTube or when they're on Netflix or something so that you won't miss out on some of those viewers who probably be, didn't watch it last night because they don't have access. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Derek, there are definitely ways to watch the Academy Awards online, whether illegally or legally. ABC has its own app. YouTube TV is a thing. And you're right. Those things do exist. Those avenues do exist. But not only are they pricey, but they're inconvenient. Nobody wants to have to download a new app to watch an an award show and then never use the app again. Why even take up the extra room? Why take up the space in in your phone? It doesn't make any sense. YouTube TTV is $40 a month. And ABC is an extra $10 a a month, depending on what package you, you get. Is one show worth that kind of money or worth possibly forgetting to end your subscription before they take the money out? Probably not. And I know I wouldn't do 
do that. And I'm pretty sure there are plenty of people who would even think that much into it to even attempt to do something like, like that. So make it easier for people to watch your ceremony and maybe more people will be interested and more people will talk about it and drive more viewers. Um, but overall, my point in saying all of this is that I think that it's sad that the Academy Awards is going through through this. They they haven't had a lot of viewers. Uh, whenever I talk about the Academy Awards to my peers, nobody seems to really care, and it sucks because the the Academy Awards really is, in my opinion, a magical ceremony that really deserves. Uh, to to be noticed and to be recognized. A lot of people nowadays view it as a bunch of rich people patting each other on the back for for their accomplishments. And in some cases that may be the case, but I view it as people, creators, kind of like people on YouTube or uh, people on Instagram or Facebook or uh, uh, the recently departed Vine, where they are able to be acknowledged for their creation, for, for what they put their hard work in, in into. I feel like an Academy Award is the world saying, we liked what you did so much, you deserve this, this highly esteemed award, and here you are. And I feel like that's the magic of the Academy Awards. People who came from nothing can move up and get acknowledged and, and and get awarded for for just something that popped into their their head one one day and and, and they worked hard to make it a reality uh, and it sucks to see that people have forgotten that that's what it's for and it sucks to see that maybe the Academy Awards itself has lost its way um, but it's uh, hopefully they will learn. Um, I do want to say congrats to all the winners. Uh, there were a few surprises, uh, even though a lot of it was a little predictable. I was not expecting Shape of Water to win, even though I knew that it was the favorite. Um, Jordan Peele, congratulations on making history. Uh, hopefully, uh, he will pave the way for uh, more uh, colored directors to, uh, to, to, to do more in the world of of film. Uh, as far as uh, the other winners go, uh, you know, Meryl Streep didn't get it this time, but she's probably going to get it next year. Margot Robbie did fan fantastic. Uh, I didn't expect her to win, but uh, I'm happy that she got nominated. At least her work was was acknowledged. Uh, and of course, to the rest of the winners, they, they all did a fantastic job. But what did you guys think about the Academy Awards last night? Did you watch it? And if you didn't, why? And if you did, did you think it was too political? Or did you think that everything that was being said needed to, to be said and that this is the right time for that? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and click uh, and thumbs me up. <laughs> uh, and uh, come, come back, check me out again. Uh, let me know what you want to see. And I can go ahead and get that content created for you. Uh, until next time, stay dope.